Rose, first win of the season, you must be happy with that. Oh, extremely happy, extremely excited. What isn't to be happy about that performance? It was, look, both teams put on a great performance today. It was really hard and tough. Um, but I'm really proud that we just, you know, continued to really fight. You know, the first quarter was, you know, difficult. We had to find our feet. We had to find our connections. But in that second quarter, um, you know, we had to also back ourselves. And we weren't backing ourselves in that uh, first quarter. But when I said, you know, they've got to go out there and fight, and, and bring the effort, then they started to just just relax a little bit and do what they're good at doing, which is what we see at training. Did you think that they'd come back by that much, down by four at the first quarter, then to lead by seven at half time? That's a huge turnaround. Yeah, it was a really huge turnaround. Um, I'm happy they did. <laughs> I didn't expect it, but, you know, we'll take it, that's for sure. It was just because we, we put the pressure on them. First ball contest, we got great tips to the ball. Tara got a couple, just made an immense um, difference. We were able to disrupt their flow, which was excellent. You must be happy with Tara. MVP, she's only two games in and she just keeps getting better. Yeah, look, um, Tara's is, um, she is uh, somebody who studies the game really closely and she does her homework really well on her opposition. So she, yeah, she's a student of the game really at 20. So um, she learnt a, little, a lot last week and she's just going to grow each week. So congratulations to Tara, great game. Still some little errors creeping in here and there. That's something to work on, I guess, for next week, Vixens. Oh, there's always something to work on, especially when we've got um, Vixens coming up. Um, uh, they're playing now probably, so we'll be able to have a little look of that at them, but it's going to be another close one, tough one. It's not going to be anything in it. Um, Vixens have touched us up the last year, so we need to make sure that um, you know, we've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. So, you know, it's important that we enjoy just now and then get back to work and concentrating on Vixens in the week ahead. And just finally, it's great to see a lot of purple here. Our first home game of the season. It's great, isn't it? Oh, fantastic. The crowd was awesome. Um, you know, the purple wigs, the, all the purple. It was fantastic. And, and there was lots just you could hear it. You could hear that, um, you know, see the atmosphere. And I think they that helped the girls immensely today. So you know fantastic by our fans getting it here and around it. what a win congratulations three goals there in the end how are you feeling i'm exhausted but so happy with that win we trained so hard during the week and to come back and pay off is amazing and yourself mvp you're only two games into the suncorp super netball and you've bagged the mvp that's pretty special yeah it's pretty crazy i can't believe it at the moment but I know it's cliche, but literally having Clemmy and Gabby there that whole game is insane. And we just looked at each other and we wanted to fight and we didn't want to repeat what happened last week. So we just had to hold on at the end and keep pushing. What's, what's going through your head at the moment? So it's pretty blank. I think pretty surreal to have so many of my friends and family in the home crowd. And to hear that many cheers for us and not for another team this week was really cool. Do you have to pinch yourself that, hang on, you're playing Suncorp Super Netball, you're getting the MVP, here you are out on centre court, it's all happening? Yeah, literally, I've got no idea what to say, but it's so cool. What about not having Godsey there at the back? Did that sort of change things up a little bit? I guess it's different, but we train, we train with all our combinations during the week. So it wasn't a massive deal and G was on the side telling us things at quarter times and during the game. So she was still a massive help out there for us. And a huge win here in front of your first home crowd too. That spurs you on. Definitely. We said at the end we just wanted to burn and we wanted to do it for our crowd. So we're really lucky we could. Tara, congratulations. Thank you.